Kiwi Scanners, Key Rats, welcome to another episode of Kiwi Scan Stories. Today we have Fernanda Torres and Cristina Dalmau. They are the the, the team behind the Kiwi Scan Children Business Fair, which was pretty exciting because the first time that I learned about the fair, and it's actually happening this coming Saturday. So that's pretty Sunday. exciting. Sunday. Thank you. It's it's happening this Sunday, and it, I'm I look forward to it already from our pre podcast conversation. And um, but let's let's dive right in. How are you, ladies, doing today? Thank you. We're doing great. We're excited. This is the third edition of the Kiwi Scan Children's Business Fair happening, like Christina said, on Sunday, October third. We have. 50 businesses participating, which means more than 110 um, young entrepreneurs. So it's exciting. 110 young entrepreneurs. Amazing. Amazing. Are they all from the key? So most of them would say are from the key, but uh, we do have because it's become popular for uh, among uh, many of the schools around Kiwi's Cane also. So there's some that are not from Kiwi's Cane, but most of them are. And there's also the brothers and sisters that tend to, or sometimes change schools. So yes, we do have a small variety. Most of them are from Kiwi's Cane and go to the, the different schools that are here. Awesome. Awesome. Before we continue, let's get to know you ladies a little bit. So Mariana, would you like to start telling us a little bit about your background, how you get to the key? Okay, so I've been a proud key rat for the past eight years. And obviously we live, and we're very fortunate of living in this um, beautiful island. I do have um, a job before, besides working for the Kiwi Skane Children's Business Fair, I do real estate. And I'm, I'm a mother of three children. And my first one, it's already a college boy. So this is exciting for us as a family because it's the first um, person who actually goes to college in the U.S. Because before that, we are from Mexico. So that's where I went to college and did all my things, got married, etc. But one of the things that we, I'm blessed and thankful about is that um, when we started with the Kiwi Skane Children's Business Fair, the support the community gives to this project is, I don't even know how to put it in words, but it's just invaluable. People are there for their children. The local businesses are there for the young entrepreneurs. We have like everybody, once they hear our project and what we do and what we aim for, they just open the doors for us. So that's one of the reasons I guess I was very happy already living in Kiwi Skin. Now it's even just more, it, it just adds to the experience. Awesome. Yes, and I guess I'm going to join Fer in uh, the, the gratitude it truly is to be part of a community. And I think that's one of the biggest things that we're blessed to live in Kibis Kane, that it is a community. You actually feel the support from everybody, from the small businesses, the big businesses, from the parents, from the children, from the schools, from everybody so it, it truly makes you feel at home we, which in, in my case is the same as fair I'm, I'm from originally from Ecuador I've been living here for eight years like the same as fair and actually we met because our our daughters were classmates at schools and fast became best friends and they are entrepreneurs so they started with a lemonade stand and they changed to the slime door by door in the building selling it and uh, well, it went with the cotton candy, many other products, and uh, they got to one product, which we actually, and I guess they were older and they got to a good product and they really wanted to go the extra mile. Like how can we sell it more than actually just door by door or, or going to friends and family? And that's how Fair and I started the Kiwi Skin Children's Business Fair. We wanted to find a place that for them would be safe, would be nice, would be a learning exercise that, of course, is not what they do for a living. They're still students. <laughs> so, so a nice place where they can uh, display their effort and, uh, and at the same time uh, have the experience of having their business and, and seeing their business grow. And they've done so. They've, done, they've participated the uh, two previous years and they are participating again this year. On my side, I'm a small entrepreneur also. I have a brand of hats, one hat, 
And, uh, and that's what I do besides, of course, the Kiwi Skate Children's Business Fair. So like you mentioned, Christina, you guys met because of your daughters, mm-hmm. you know, and then your daughters are friends, of course, right? Or else it wouldn't have, <laughs> it wouldn't have happened. happened. So what gave the spark for the Kiwi Skate Children's Business Fair? I think like Christina said, we saw the interest of our girls of going beside the worth to mouth sale. You know, they had like this actually very nice product, which is those little baking soda. It's a bath bomb, which is made out of baking soda. You put it on the bathtub and sparkles. It um, gives you an aroma. It's supposed to be relaxing. And what we saw is that the girls were questioning themselves more where can I sell what happens if I actually sell a hundred versus five um can my product have a better presentation so we start we saw this questioning and we said listen like our girls I'm pretty sure there's a hundred kids out there that they have a business idea and they don't have a space to go and think bigger so we sat down one day, we, you know, we researched, we explored our options, and we decided just to host a Kiwis Game Children's Business Fair here. It was on February 2019, the first one. And we were, I, I don't think when we did it the first time, we knew how important or successful it was gonna be, it was gonna be. But when we were there, we realized that it's just more than the fair people usually the public go and they see one thing you know kids having fun and doing a business exercise but there's so much more you know like right now next door i have the girls producing and i just love it you know Mm -hmm. because instead of um like they're using their time in a very positive way they just put the music you can see the you can hear the laughing and the interaction but i mean when they're creating this it takes time, it takes planning, and it's just great, you know, it's, we have teenagers, kids doing, you know, like a very positive activity. Yes, and I'm going to add to what Perez says, because for us, when we started, it was, uh, for us, it was already a win when we did it the first year, even if only our kids participated, uh, like the kids having the experience Andres, Per oldest kid, was uh, helping us with the sponsorships. The younger kids, we also have, a, I have a 13-year-old, which at the time was uh, 10. So he also participated since the first year. And this year, my son is going to be a judge. So for us, the, the, the culture we've created in our family of wanting to do a positive event and a positive activity is already a win. And as per se, when we started, that was as much, for, that, for us, that was a success. And... Uh, It was really overwhelming to see how the community embraced it, took it, and how it's benefited so many other young kids that that are truly doing positive things and and, uh, positive activities. We've had everything from an underwater robot that a 17-year-old did and was looking for a grant and actually got it from the Kiwi Skate Foundation, so that was great to kids doing slime and having the funnest time of their lives. So it truly goes like... It's a wide variety of products and, uh, uh, and a lot of interests that are under the same uh, event. I, I'm an entrepreneur at heart. You know, mm-hmm. I, I, had a, I had a business in the past. So I love, I love to see, especially the youth with their entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneurship ideas or entrepreneurial ideas. And this is, this is, that's why this is like, especially exciting for me to, to see what's going to happen this Sunday. So what can we expect this Sunday? Oh, you can expect lots of fun. First of all, people go thinking, most of the people go um, trying to support somebody they know that are participating and they stay, it's a three hour event. They stay the three hours because it's just Two things. It's really hard to say no to a kid when they're trying to at least show their product. Mm. And it's just people turn out to be very amazed about the variety and the presentations and the excellent quality of the product. And they are there. It's just fascinating, you know, the amount of people who are supporting the event, the the amount of kids who are participating, the the just the the vibe, you know, the the 
you know, everybody's happy. It's 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 a really family oriented event, and I think Kiwi Skin is just a perfect setting for 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 it because we are a family oriented community. Go ahead. So we do emphasize a lot on fun. So I, if I you ask me one word, what to expect? It's fun. It's uh, going to be fun for the kids, fun for the visitors, fun for the parents, fun for everyone. And we do emphasize it because we know at this age, the most important thing is for them to relate, uh, having a business, being an entrepreneur with having the fun. So we actually did a video which uh, some of our sponsors helped us out. And, and I guess they, we asked them at the end to give advice to the young entrepreneurs. And you see what it repeats the most, it do something you love. So, so I think it's, it's that, it's, it's gathering both of them together. You know, it's like have fun, do what you love uh, and it's gonna truly be a success. And we're lucky to say that the past two years, it has been most of the kids even sell out. So, so it's really fun and really successful for them. So you mentioned este, Fernanda, you mentioned that they were looking at, at 50 exhibitionists. So it's 50 business ideas and they okay. can have up to three participants. So some of the kids, they work alone, but some of them they do, you know, with a, with a partner or with up to three kids. And that's also a learning experience for them because sometimes, you know, it's like, it's fun to have my idea. Mm -hmm. And when you involve somebody, they start outstanding their skills. You know, one is great for accounting. The other one is great for selling. The other one is great for just having the idea of the product. So it's part of the learning experience. Um, we try to this, the, we try to make the Kiwi Skin Children's Business Fair as to have a variety. So it's not a big sell. It's not a, um, um, what, what, what could I say? It's just a like science a, one, fair. A, science a science fair. fair. No, mm -hmm. it has everything. So we try to make as variety. What we find out is that we, Christina and I, we love the project and we rarely say no to anything just because we really want the kids to do what they love, what they are having fun. We do not tell them what to do or teach them. But if we run into the situation where we have, um, I'm going to say three, four products that are going to be very extremely similar, we ask them to be creative, you know, say, listen, you do have competition and what start thinking, what can you do to stand out and to be different from the typical um, idea of your product. And so far it has great work. It has worked great because, um, they do, the kids have it, you know, they have the skills, they have the imagination, they have the energy. So, so it's great to see the results. 50 business ideas you mentioned. Can you share a couple with us? I mean, not because they're your favorite, we're not trying to pinpoint, but can you give us like a little bit of idea of the range of, of, of business ideas that we're gonna be seeing? So every year what we do have, it's a, a, a few that are super popular. I guess the first year we did it was slime. And as Fred was saying, we had uh, four different slime st businesses. And like Fred was saying, it was amazing for us to see how creative the kids are. So one was a do-it-yourself kind of thing. The other one was a customizable slime that you could choose the color and choose the beads and choose everything you put on them. The other one had a roulette. And uh, and the other one, Fred, I don't know, it was, was to take it? home to do it at home. I had to do it at home. So so it was really amazing to see that how that like Fred was saying the imagination and the creativity that the kids have. But this year the top one is jewelry. Even for men, we have a different. Uh, I guess I don't know if you call it jewelry for men, but jewelry. Uh, is the, the number shark one. teeth? <laughs> yeah, it's shark, shark teeth. teeth. So, yeah, it's called the yeah, shark teeth. That's dudes. the one that's for men, but yeah. shark dudes, and they are going to be selling, you yeah. know, those little um, leather necklaces with the shark teeth. Yeah, uh, yeah. we have a, a couple <laughs> of games which which should be super fun. So there's a, a couple of businesses doing games for the kids, which always brings in the fun, and uh, and they even we even get a line to participate. And then, of course, we always have some food. And I guess this year we have something that for us it's new. We have a soda. So we want to try it. It's like totally a customized different. soda. Yeah. So the kids are amazing. It's like we can keep on talking about the ideas. It's like a, a, there's some artists always. We have some art. So we're going to have 
art in display, digital art this time. So we're, I guess, going getting more modern. So there's a bit of everything. Yeah, that's why we call everybody to come. It's really amazing to see what a kid can do. So, well, kids, meaning the ages are eight to 16. So it's kids and teens and yeah. Are people, are these kids going to be selling their ideas? Are these, how, what is the interaction with the, uh, with people that go like myself? Am I going to be able to see their ideas? Am I buying something? Am I just looking, I'm s- sponsored, investing? <laughs> well, well, yes, absolutely. And questioning them, you know, so we encourage everybody to bring cash because it's part of the business experience. You know, obviously most okay. of the products are really low price. You're, you're talking about, you're going to buy a lemonade and it's going to be a $1.50, but you can also buy, you know, like the soda or we have um, this girl who's jewelry or this girl who's actually doing clothes. Like she, she creates her line. So, so you can buy, but we always, we do have volunteers. This is the way I like to put the fair for nobody. If you have never been to the fair, I want you to think of a five-year-old kid that goes to our school and he is going to be impressed. He or she is going to be impressed by seeing all of her friends, peers, and people from this community selling things, having this businesses ideas. For the participants, it's obviously a great business exercise. They need to question their product. They need to question their price. They need to question their promotion because they help us promote the event. They need to question their place. You know, it's like, okay, when I have a real business, How much am I going to be spending on leasing a store or, you know, like a retail uh, place? But for for the older kids, I'm going to say high school students, we also provide community hours. So they love it because they are in an entrepreneurial atmosphere, but they have tasks, you know, they are in charge of our judges, you know, they are in charge of the participants. They bring them their snacks, you know, they they are uh, making sure they're okay, they keep the place clean. You know, they are help, help us welcoming the people, distributing the bags that we give, a giveaway bags that we give. And for the adults, you know, I think it's just joy to see so much these kids in, in such a happy atmosphere. I think as a parent, you're seeing either your five-year-old being inspired or your 12-year-old or 14-year-old participating or your even older one just handling already administration tasks. So I think that's the way I like to put it in, in a summary. Like it's good for everybody. So the easy answer is yes, everything is for sale. Bring cash, cash only. And we call it, it's a one day marketplace. So we're all in for the treats. So yeah, come to the fair. So do you ladies do this only on the key? So Fernanda and I, we do. However, we have a new platform and we actually used it this year, which is a, a business exercise on itself. And it allows children to register for the fair, but it also allows anybody else who wants to do a fair to do it in their, in their let's say, neighborhood, in their homes, in their backyards or it could be in a school in their countries so it's actually uh it's a marketplace setup that makes it easy and stress-free to do your own kids marketplace as we call it so your own kids marketplace in wherever you live Mm. it helps with automating the emails it helps with the correspondence charging (laughs) i'm forgetting sorry i forget all it does no, but we love it. It's called it's no, called put- Slingshot Marketplace. So if people want to find out how they can host a, a marketplace wherever they live, um, they just have to go to the website slingshotmarketplace.com. There's all the information. And what we love is that everything has been integrated. So what Christina and I, we found out is we were working, you know, well, when you start a project, you have all these steps that you've been working on and some of them take more time and they are not as efficient. So when COVID um, hit us, we said, why don't we, we love entrepreneurship and we see so many positive things to, um, for the kids that we said, why don't we put everything that we know, everything that we do into a platform so anybody can do it. 
we're excited because th this platform is taking, um, it's already been used by two people who are doing a business fair in Coral Gables and one in Pinecrest. So even though it's, it's the beginning of Slingshot that we created, um, it's just picking up. It's going to be great because we know for this fair, the Kibiskan Children's Business Fair, third edition, we use it. So we know how easy it is to use, how practical it is. So this is hopefully it's going to sky. It's for everybody to use at no cost. So we are encourage people to do two things, to go to the fair, to actually know what the fair is about and to see the positive um, of having a, a young kids doing entrepreneurial things. And the second one, if they want to host a fair, just to contact us and we'll introduce them to Slingshot or just visit our website. Perfect. And where can we find you? Hey, well, of course, you can uh, find us straight on the website, uh, slingshot.com. Also, the Instagram is our biggest way of communication, especially for the Kibiskane Children's Business Fair. So it's KB Children's Fair. So we encourage everybody to follow us on Instagram to know what's going on. And you can always write us directly at the KB Children's Business Fair at gmail.com or slingshot marketplace at gmail.com. Well, I'll put all that information in the show notes for people to, <laughs> to find. Thank so you. I do, uh, we are running out of time, but I do have one more question for you ladies. What is your favorite part of the fair? Fernanda, please, you can go first. I think my favorite part of the fair is just looking at the smiles of a kid. And the reason I like it, I, and I guess I could be a little bit selfish, is just it really brings you back to when you were that age. You know, when it's just, it's just the, when you are just for the fun. I think that's it's so original, you know, when they are, when you buy them the first thing and they do the first sale, it's just happiness at, you know, 100% clean happiness. Like it's really pure. It's very unique. I think that's my favorite. Beautiful. What, what about you, Christina? I fair knew it. It was going to be the same thing. So almost the same. I was going to say the eyes because you see it in the eyes of the kids. You see the hope. You see the excitement. You see them truly believing in their product, truly believing in what they do and wanted to share it with everybody else. So the, coming to the stand to each one of the tables and listening to those kids what they feel how proud they feel it it truly makes us keep on doing it every year it's uh, it's beautiful awesome fernanda cristina thank you so much for jumping on on the show to tell us all about the kibiscane children business fair happening this sunday and i'm, I'm excited yeah, so, this Sunday, you. October 3rd, from 1 to 3 at the Village Green. So see you all there. Exciting. Thank you. Thank you for hosting us. Thank you, Alejandro.